Even though he was silent, former opposition leader Usman Sanko was the center of attention at the swearing-in ceremony for Senegal's new president, Basiru Diomai Faye. As Sanko had been barred from running for office in last month's elections, his close ally Faye was largely seen as his proxy. Indeed, just hours after Fai assumed office, he appointed Sanko to be his prime minister. At the meeting that closed our election campaign, I said we were all working to get President Basiru Diomai Fai elected. There will be no question of leaving him to shoulder this responsibility alone. Sanko finished third in the 2019 presidential election and is popular among young people. He spent much of the last year in prison before being freed last month. Sanko became a key figure in his second-in-command's fiery campaign to tackle corruption in a country with severe economic hardship. I bring to you my little brother, my friend, who is the candidate for us all, Basiru Diomai Fai. Now in power, the two men will have to meet the immense expectations of the Senegalese people. Fai has pledged to restore national sovereignty by renegotiating international contracts for fossil fuel extraction. He has also vowed to create jobs as 20% of the population is unemployed.